Hello, this is Lynn Suzek with the Video Church, or you could call it Lynn's Healing Room. Uh, I've got a lot. I don't always talk about healing, but there's a lot going on with healing right now. And um, a lot of questions being answered. And I'm having really significant uh, conversations with people. Um, and as I talk, I minister to others and myself because you know when we start talking about this stuff um the holy spirit's flowing and you know stuff is just like oh that's good you know even though you're the one saying it the holy spirit could be speaking so i do want to talk about how um for instance somebody that i was talking to is dealing with symptoms okay we're gonna call them fake symptoms um, things that have been coming upon her due to I would say an expectation subconsciously when a couple people in her family including her father have had Lou Gehrig's disease so she's been subconsciously expecting it could happen to her so as soon as something hits um, you know that's what everybody thinks the doctors are only testing her for that whatever and um, they don't the thing that I've been believing and passing on is that the way to avoid things getting worse and go and reversing these symptoms is to not give it a name not dignify it with a name what happens to our bodies is fake because jesus took the curse jesus took all of our sins and sicknesses therefore none of it's real so what we deal with is called just symptoms it's just a group of symptoms things that happen whether it's a runny nose, itchy eyes, um, constantly blowing your nose and sneezing. We have a name for that. Is it allergies or was it a cold? Um, if you have weakness in the leg or a limb or uh, even up to paralysis in one of those, we want to find a name for it. But I'm telling you, don't give it a name just call the symptoms you know wrong you're not real and speak to your body based on 1 peter 2 24 by his stripes i we were healed so you don't even this isn't even real and that is how i have seen things go back you know reverse right away and the things that have that we're not seeing change for yet you need to keep not giving it ground by um the more that we don't give it validation the less we give it validation the better so for instance this person says she's had uh lou gehrig's in the family so the you know they the doctors go by that very pop very significantly they they believe oh well then that's probably what it is well anyway we don't i don't believe in any of it now i i've conquered allergies i don't have them anymore i've seen um things come and go uh, heart attack symptoms burns that weren't supposedly not going to heal without surgery um i've got to keep my list going but those health issues that have come and gone those are victories and other diseases that people don't want to talk about you know things can come and go and you uh shouldn't really give it a name so i'm going to call this don't give it a name because even if you get a diagnosis 
the symptoms that we get in our body don't classically fit a lot of most of the time they don't fit um well Lou Gehrig's disease has all these symptoms but you are you have you know half of them so we don't really know what you have well you don't have anything it just proves to me and I'm proving to you you don't have anything you just have a bunch of symptoms you just have a bunch of phony fake things going on in your body that you need to get in control of and push back say no and um when you do start to exhibit things i told this person it's like you were programmed in your brain to receive subconsciously and you are having it's like we have the als program going on subconsciously in you well if we're able to reject that by knowing better before they come you can prevent it altogether however things can get planted in our expectation without us realizing it and if you start to exhibit certain things uh, the better the, the the best way to prove to yourself it's not real is like she said um, some of the symptoms are showing you know up as they would be Lou Gehrig's but some of them are the opposite they're supposed to be this but it's that way it's the opposite and um so I'm like good that's that's going to help you not believe that it is and let's not even give it a different name but whatever works to make you believe that you don't have anything that's gonna continue to take you down a bad path you know just keep disagreeing with the label because it's just a bunch of random fake symptoms so no matter what's happening with you i think tony tony uh, May myers and i we, we talk and we believe those are traps these are the traps of the enemy things that keep you getting worse uh, we call them traps like um like I, I have one called do's and don'ts don't look it up don't you know plant seeds of expectation for a certain disease in you and don't believe that you have to keep it don't believe that it's permanent it's going back it's going to go back and until you get to a point where you don't want to get well that's when it usually stops i have a family member that got um started to get paralyzed and um it's my mother uh she i my belief in what happened is she got to a vulnerable state in her life after my dad passed away she did a lot of meditating on you know worry and uh fear and um she began to develop some paralysis in her body and i believe that everything can be obviously avoided and it can be things can be contagious no matter what it is even though i what i what what happened to me was uh, an injury you know a spinal cord injury but she has been watching and thinking and you know meditating on the paralysis that i go through for so long i believe that's what you know kind of it's like it, it's like not not typically contagious of course for that to happen to somebody else in the family but you know both of us got paralyzed it's really stupid and um she as soon as it started happening i mean she doesn't believe as strongly in healing as i do because some people believe that god just is or isn't going to heal you well i no longer believe it that way i believe god wants everyone well so i started praying over going mom it's not going to stay this is this is going back and it was very overwhelming the doctors thought she said she had like a tumor on her spine causing this paralysis that's what they found uh whatever the reason it <clears throat> they thought she was going to get worse and get completely paralyzed and i'm like no and she you know was receptive to prayer 
we started seeing things reverse the paralysis started going away so there's movement and um, sensation and ability to stand um, however <clears throat> at a certain point I don't think she wanted to get completely well because she wants the the company of the caregivers <clears throat> whatever the reason she got unparalyzed and she's still very weak and you know using a wheelchair um, these are all the different things that you can learn about healing and how to cooperate with the fact that we are already well so if you've got paralysis you've got um, weakness in a limb if you've got uh, pain or anything keep it at the symptom level don't give it a name I know doctor if you feel the need to go to a doctor to try to get things reversed if you got to get them to believe that you don't have whatever it is they're going to come up with and that you you know it's like how many doctors are going to agree that it's not that it's this because that's going to be easier for you to reject I, I don't know but uh, it's a we're, the more we convince ourselves of the truth that these things don't really exist and they're just symptoms that can be reversed that your body is just on this program and you need to reject it and you'll see things change I'm going to keep up with uh, this person and I believe we're going to see some things change and as I'm ministering to her I'm ministering to myself I'm ministering to myself and we're going to see paralysis and um, weakness of limbs go atrophy go um, as we compare notes uh, and I can show her what I after 30 years of dealing with this am not experiencing she's going to be surprised that I didn't you know I'm not I'm not atrophying in certain my legs and everything so somebody else doesn't have to they can see it reverse um, lots of um, things that we need to do to keep ourselves convinced of the truth that allergies and diseases and nothing from the curse really exists so I'm gonna cut this one off now and I hope this helps um, I'm gonna just call it don't give it a name don't dignify it with a name because that you don't even get you're not getting a classic uh, Tony Myers didn't get I mean when they said he had ALS he was you know on the road to dying he was beyond dying he, he was living on miracles at the end before he got completely um, uh, healed he had so many symptoms they're just random symptoms didn't even know what it was so just keep it that way we don't know it isn't anything it's just a bunch of symptoms so uh, I hope this helps somebody else but it's helping me I am excited about what we're learning as we keep ministering the truth it's setting us free amen happy Sunday here right now and see you next time